Hello there, hey. my flock. The Bad Raven here today with the man, the myth, the legend. Drew Drop. Drew Drop. And today is a special day because I'm really looking forward to this movie because I am a fan of the series. And because the first one really, really surprised me, and that is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Heck yes. Yeah, it's got Jim Carrey back. It's got Sonic back. It's got everybody back. Everybody's man. back from the first movie for for this one. And now we're they're introducing Tails and Knuckles. They're bringing them uh, from the games into the movies now. So I am really excited to see the Knuckles storyline from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I hope they do it really, really good in this one. I hope that he does do good because it's looking like he's going to be awesome. So. All I know is the first one I didn't even expect to like, and mm -hmm. Drew Drop told me took me to see it, and I really thought it had a lot of heart, and I'm hoping this one has a lot of heart. It just yes. doesn't like most sequels screw up and like make it all special effects or something, and mm -hmm. it's just not all story. You know, I'm hoping that this is really well done. Yeah, because this, from what I've seen in the trailers, it looks like you have like the Death Egg coming back from Sonic 2, so I'm assuming they're going to do the whole Sonic 3 and Knuckles storyline with the Death Egg and the Master Emerald and all of that. But yeah, I, I can't wait to see what they're going to do because, see, Sonic 3 was when Knuckles when it was introduced. So now they're bringing them into the second one, which means that they're not doing the game order. They're not doing the video game order, which I feared that they wouldn't, but they're not. I can't wait to really see this movie. I, I've been looking forward to it for a really, really long time. I hope it's action-packed. I hope it's got a lot of Easter eggs from the other Sonic games that I used to play from back in the day. Speaking of the games, Sega, what are you doing? You need to fix your games now because it's getting bad. But that's a whole other video. Don't want to get into a tangent about that. But yes, I cannot wait to jump in. Let's go ahead and do it. Yep, and I'm just a general fan and I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> we're just hoping for a good movie all the way around. Yes. So we're going to do our patented before and after review and mm -hmm. we'll give you our spoiler-free thoughts after we get out of the movie. All right, see you on the other side. See you on the other side. Two hours later. Okay, we're back. Hey! We made it out of the movie. We made it out of the crazy movie. <laughs> it's definitely a longer... It might get longer than the first one, but maybe... Yeah, it was definitely a lot longer than the first one. Because the first one was only like an hour and 30 minutes. It was not even... It was only like 90 minutes long, the first one was. Okay, you go ahead and give your thoughts on it. I thought it was really, really good. I thought the movie was really, really well made. It was just like the first one. I thought it was actually better than the first one. If you're like a fan of the games like I am, there's a lot more here. It feels more like the games this time around. There's a lot more, it's a lot more action, a lot more action based, a lot more, a lot of stuff going on, more adventure, everything. The characters were great. Knuckles was how he was in the games, just how, how exactly he was in the games. He was awesome. I'm glad that they chose the, the game Knuckles and not the, the, uh, what was it the stu the stupid knuckles from Boom? I'm glad they didn't choose that one. They choose the the good one from the game. I was happy that they did that. And also, there is a post credit scene at the end of the movie, so be sure to stay for that one because it introduces somebody that well, it's going to change. It introduces somebody. And it introduces somebody that's going to change the movie Sonic forever. And it's going to, and it's it's looking like it's going to be pretty awesome too. But anyways, like, I thought everybody did good. Ben Schwartz did good as Sonic. Idris Alba did good as Knuckles. And Col Colleen O'Shaughnessy, I think that's how I say her name, she did Tails' voice. She's actually from the game. I was familiar with the voice because she's the only one that reprised her role from the actual from the actual video game. I thought that was really, really cool. And yeah, it was just, it was a fun time. I really liked it. Okay, uh, I'll say my part of it. I didn't like it as much as the first one, but that doesn't take away from this one. It's just a different type of movie. I like the new characters that were brought in with Knuckles and Tails. They Knuckles, Tails, Sonic. Sonic together was the best part of the movie. I liked them most of all, the way they went against each other and whatever you would call it. I just thought they they were very good together. See, they're they're the ultimate team, and I liked how it's just like how it's Sonic Heroes. That's how you play. You play as all three of them. I love it. I love the message of the movie. If you listen to the message mm -hmm. of the movie, a family, I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised. And there was a lot of families here, so I, I really I told the truth. Drop down the ending of the movie. Pete, kids were there, and they were talking about Sonic. They were talking about the game. They were talking about yeah. everything. They were taking pictures of being at the movie. It felt like before the pandemic <laughs> it felt like before the virus it yeah. felt like 
people were having fun again. People were out having fun again. None of this stupid delaying or not doing anything. No, we're 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 going back to business, bro. That's what we're doing. I liked uh, Jim Carrey's performance. He was a lot like the Grinch. <laughs> yeah, he's like, almost exactly like the you Grinch. You could not interchange him, put the Grinch costume on, and you would have not known any difference. But he knew, uh, that being said, though, he was a good Eggman. But he was a good Eggman. Yes. Uh, I liked the the guy that played. Donut Lord, he's also good in this one uh, again, and like I said, him yeah. and Sonic's relationship in the movie really paid off for me at the very end, and I thought it was a really very mm-hmm. sweet thing at the very end with him and Sonic, and that really touched me there. There was a, about midway through there, there was an episode part that I didn't really think was, nah, was okay. kind of threw me off a little bit, but I was glad it was just in the middle. It wasn't horrible, it just wasn't anything for me I didn't think it was yeah. good at all but other than that the beginning the end the the bad guy all that paid off for me and I think if you want to go out and have fun you definitely need to go see this movie oh fans. yes I it's, thought it's definitely a family movie and there's definitely tons of easter eggs everywhere for fans of the games like myself like literally like I could tell if they were just le- they, I could tell if those were levels from the games they were all awesome I have minor, a minor gripe which is not with the movie it's with at Millsboro, we kind of we went to see Millsboro. We went to see this movie at Millsboro Mall, exactly at the Golden Ticket Cinema, and I was it stopped. When well, it didn't stop, it kind of lost picture about yeah the when, first act of the movie for about what a minute. It was about two minutes, not two minutes. But it was it was when I'm gonna say it because it was in the trailer. Mm-hmm. But it's when Eggman Eggman was coming to the house and he was coming in there and Knuckles first arrives. That whole part I did not see because it was I could hear it but I could not see the picture. The picture was freaking out. I don't know what was going on or what it was. I am gonna go see it again for that reason. I'm gonna go back to Tri County yeah. and then I'll I'll see it again so that way we I can come back and we can do a spoiler review uh, for for yeah, it as well. Uh, and there's also it's something to do with the theater with Middle School yes. Theater here in Golden Ticket. You need to fix your sound for the music. The dialogue was great. The surround sound was great. But the, when they played music in the movie, you could barely hear it. And it, you could hear the the voiceovers better, and it made you not really get pumped in some of those scenes. I think it would have been a lot better if they would have jacked up the music. It seemed like to me at the, the BGM sound mix, the sound mixing was not adjusted. The dialogue was adjusted higher than the background music. Yeah, so that's why I say you could hear the dialogue great, but it kind of took away from the music that you were supposed to be getting into the, the beat of the uh, all that, and I, I just barely could hear it. I don't know if they've, somebody's had a problem hearing the dialogue, and they jacked up the dialogue, and it hurt the other. Because, see, I, I liked, from what I could hear of the soundtrack, I loved the soundtrack. What but, you could hear. Well, yeah. from what I could hear of it, it was good. It was just you could bear it was really low it was really really low that's why i am going to watch it a second time yeah if you want to watch it a second time, watch it at tri county <laughs> yeah watch it tri county so we're just telling you that right now that millsboro does have a lot of issues other than that though the movie itself though awesome yeah. movie to go on just go yeah. my rating is just go see it worth it and I'm the same way. Just go see it. Get the family together. Go have yeah. a good time. Get the popcorn. Get the drink. Go in and support your local theater yes. and watch this movie because it's the first big movie of the summer. I consider it even spring. I think you should all go out and have a good time because yes. it's got a very good story mm-hmm. and I think you will love it. Oh, yes. If we got anything else to say about the movie? Uh, that's it. That's, okay. That's all I got to say. With that being said, we're just going to say thank you all for watching this review. Mm-hmm. And we appreciate you on the Bad Raven channel. We're on our road to 1,000 subscribers. So please like and share and, and subscribe to the channel and share this with your friends on social media. Uh, we would be greatly appreciative of that. And I always remember the Bad Raven is your friend. And we're going to let you go and we're going to talk at you later, Ann. True drop out. Goodbye. <laughs>